my name is Jen Downing and I go by the pronouns she and her. I am an intuitive visionary artist that specializes in something I call spirit sketches, which are intuitively drawn portraits. I'm also a certified process arts facilitator. Process art is what we will be doing today. And like the name implies, it's focused more on the process versus the end product. Today we will be needing four or more pieces of paper, something to journal in or write down thoughts and words, a writing utensil so that you can jot things down in your journal or paper, and then some type of drawing utensil such as crayons, markers, or colored pencils. Okay, so we're going to start off with intention. So creating art helps to connect to ourselves because it helps us to access something deep within us. So I'm inviting you now to set an intention. Now an intention are words, phrases, or images that inspire and soothe your mind and heart. Choose an intention for today's activity or for the day itself, or even for your week, your month, your year, but setting an intention that you feel really aligns with what you would like to be focusing on and allowing to grow within your life. So the first drawing activity we're going to do is something I like to call degunking. It's essentially removing thoughts or feelings clearing it out of you through drawing, so releasing it through drawing. You can imagine it as pulling it through from your head, down your arms, into the paper, and releasing. So just take a moment to close your eyes and think about all of the things that the lovely self-critic likes to tell you throughout the day. Uh, whether it's worries or things you don't like about yourself or any type of fears or stress or frustrations that you are holding on you today. Just think about what those things are. And then once you have kind of a clear picture of what those things are, which probably shouldn't take too long, I invite you to take your first paper, um, first piece of drawing paper and either write down what those things are or draw them and think of it as like you're weeding it out. So again, it, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. This is me showing you what I'm doing, but however you choose to do this is absolutely perfect for you. So I allow myself to let go and release the stress or tension or fear onto the paper that I have been holding within my mind. So again, what I'm doing here as you're watching is very abstract and this in and of itself can be some type of a release where you're allowing those thoughts and you're seeing them or visualizing them rather going from your mind, like I said, from your mind down your arm through your hand and just releasing them. It's like you're weeding them out of your garden. So I will give you a moment to pause and then we'll, we'll begin on the next activity after that. For our next process arts activity, we're going to be focusing on the body. So what is body acceptance to you? And how does feeling completely safe within your physical body feel like? What types of colors come up in your mind when you think about body acceptance? And allow it to just come out. And as you release this tension, think to yourself what what does body acceptance feel like to you? It can be as 
drawn out or as little drawn out as you want or need. So take the time you need. I will see you in the next activity. Our next process art activity will be focusing on the mind. In the mind, we create a lot of thought forms. I like to think of it as those bubbles in cartoons or comics where you see the, the bubbles coming up from the character's head and you'll see words that they're thinking. I would like for all of you to think about if you were to have the thoughts that you would prefer what are those thoughts and then just start to draw how that makes you feel so just allow yourself to think about the way that those thoughts make you feel and then just go into the paper with some crayons but if you're still feeling that you're not completely calm you can alternately use this time to do a similar exercise and draw those those thought forms you would prefer to release out into the paper as well. We will then move on to the next one, which will be the spirit or the soul. For this process art activity, we will be focusing on the spirit or the soul. So when you think about what is it that makes your spirit sing? What is it that makes your spirit feel so alive and emotionally content? This is what I would like for you to focus on for this particular process art activity. So again, it can be literal, it can be abstract, however you um, end up exploring this through drawing is completely up to you. And there is again, no right or wrong way of doing this. This is all about exploring the shapes and the colors as you allow yourself to be curious and just go with what feels good. So now the final step to this process art activity is to lay out all three images that you've created and give yourself a moment to look at them and see if there's a narrative uh, amongst the three together. You can either look at them as a whole piece or you can look at them individually. But what I'm going to have you do next is take your journal or your notebook and ask your art if it could speak what would it say to you so i hope you found this activity helpful and you can find all of my information on the light of loving kindness website which is www.lightoflovingkindness.org thank you so much